the, every day in your pews, families feel stigmatized. They feel stigmatized because of the substance use. So what that does is it, you become silent. It perpetuates that silence. And then that creates a barrier to them asking for help. I'm David Stokes. I am the lead mission strategist for the Central Kentucky Network of Baptists in Lexington, Kentucky. Well, one of the things that I've learned is that detox is not recovery. But the one thing they all have in common is they're very broken and they need Jesus. And so this is a ministry. This is a, 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 a mission field. And that's what we recognize it as. I believe the church can have an impact with the uh, opioid crisis by virtue of just being loving and being intentional in their efforts to minister to families who are impacted by it, ministering to those who are struggling with it, and helping to uh, prepare teenagers and young adults to know uh, the challenges that are out there, as well as educating uh, parents. I didn't fall into drugs till I was um, <clears throat> in my late teenage years. It was after high school, and it all really started with a knee injury. I have struggled with addiction. I am in recovery of three years now. I started wanting that feeling again and just the pain pills weren't doing it, so I, I switched to speed. Uh, someone introduced me to methamphetamine and the first time that I tried it, I was hooked. My struggle started out at 13 with alcohol. Um, I was an alcoholic for 10 years and then I became introduced to pills, um, which then led into heroin. My youngest uh, is forever 18. Uh, he, on his 18th birthday, he decided to celebrate by trying LSD acid. He, I don't have hard numbers of how many we get a day, but I know that sometimes it can be 10 and just my shift that I hear in my side of the town. That's not citywide in the whole day. The first time I used heroin um, was with my mother. We was sitting in her bedroom on the bed and um, she had asked me, did I want to take my high to another level? When I started caring less about Jesus, who was my first love, and started caring more about me, everything started falling apart. And so at Nile, we recognize addiction as not the issue. That's a fruit, not a root. The last thing that I want to be is a Pharisee, feeling like I have to look this way and talk this way and be this way. I'm going to keep being me. I'm going to keep walking with Jesus. I'm going to keep getting tattoos. And I'm just going to be free because the Bible says, he whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And I know that Jesus loves me just the way I am. After years of dealing with it, there was no shame left when Riley died. I needed to step out and speak. But knowing that in the end, that Christ wins, that heroin doesn't win, that Christ wins. And so for that, I'm grateful. Just recognize that the Christians need to be involved and we need to be educated. And if you really look, you will find people in your congregations that have people struggling in addiction. I really do think that uh, when it comes to uh, encouraging the church to face this, uh, I want to say to them, take a step. Do something. Get started. Don't wait any longer.